hi guys welcome back to my channel it's lolo beauty and before we get started i just want to say everything in this video is alleged so queen naja posted on her story um trey and armand and basically congratulated them both on both of their singles trey just released the single and um it's called outside and then armand has his single which we all know hit billboard um but what i really wanted to say is i cannot stress this enough um they were a duo they were a group and now they're both branching off and becoming solo artists so i feel like it is important to support them both um I know that our mind is going crazy in the media right now, but y'all, let's just not forget that he did come from a group and let's not forget to support Trey as well and to get him trending on billboards as well. I feel like um, when you come from a group, um, people tend to have a favorite. And like Armand was saying, a lot of people doubted him when he was in the group. Um, they all they felt like Trey' voice was stronger and it was better, and they just felt like he, you know, he really didn't shine when he was a duo, but he did. When I seen them as a duo, all I seen was perfection. I thought they worked well together. I thought that you know Trey hit certain notes and then Armand hit certain notes. Although we did see Trey take the lead, I just feel like his voice is a little bit louder and stronger. And then Armand has a, 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 a softer pitch to it, but they're both amazing voices. So I felt like Armand always felt like people doubted him um, because Trey took the lead in most of the songs. And I just feel like I just don't want y'all to forget that both of them have passion for music. So let's not let's not forget to support them both. I think it's very important. And like Queen said, she remember when they were scraping five dollars for a little Caesar's pizza and now look at them. It is amazing to see the growth in all three of them. Just to see Queen um on she was just on tour or with Mary J. Blige and then you're seeing Armand, you know, where he is now in his life, and then you see Trey just on his solo journey killing it. Trey don't bother nobody. He is in his music bag, and that's where he's always been. When you look at Trey, he's definitely in love with his music. That is all that he pursues. So I know that Armand has a lot going on in the media right now, but I feel like it's definitely important for us to support both. And just like y'all got Armand on billboards, let's get Trey on the billboards too. Because how cool is that to see a duo both trending on the billboard? Because people tend to, when it, when someone comes from a group, you know, like how Beyonce had Destiny's Child or, you know, or Escape or it's always, or Justin Timberlake when he was with NSYNC. What is it, NSYNC? Y'all, I don't know. The, the group's so old. What I'm saying is it's always that one singer that go that shoots above and then the other singer kind of gets, you know, pushed to the side. And I felt like our man thought that was him, but it wasn't. Actually, he grew so much as a solo artist. And, you know, I just feel like it's important for us to still, you know, show them both equal amount of love and attention. So just like we got our mind to the top let's get Trey to the top and let's not forget they were a duo and we both want them to win and to succeed um and I love how supportive they are of each other's music and there's no envy or no jealousy it's just brothers supporting each other's um music but y'all let me know down in the comment section are y'all supporters or both are y'all streaming both songs will you be supporting both and how do you feel about what I'm saying